Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add page numbers to your PDF file that you're going to eventually upload to CreateSpace. Now, I've tried this many times in Microsoft Word, but I've never been able to get the page numbers to show up exactly the way I want. So, um, using um, Adobe Acrobat, this is pretty much the only way um, I can get the page numbers to show up the way that I want them to. Before we get into the tutorial, you're going to need Adobe Acrobat Pro um, to do this. If you have the standard Acrobat Reader that won't work with this tutorial, you have to have the Acrobat Pro versions uh, to be able to do this. And depending on what version you have, the the menus might be a little bit different than what I'm showing you here. But I'm using Acrobat Pro version 8. So if you have that, then you can follow along exactly. If you have a different version, you'll have to maybe search around and find the uh, same exact functions that I'm using here. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my PDF file that I need to open. It's this one called 75 Recipes for Healthy Living. Uh, I'm going to right click. I'm just going to open it up with Acrobat, not Acrobat Reader. So I'm going to open it with Acrobat 8. This is the pro version. So I'll click that. Here's my PDF file. This is the first page we're looking at. Um, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this first page and show you that there are no page numbers currently on this document. As you can see, there's nothing there. Let's go down to the next page. There's no page numbers here either. So the whole document has no page numbers right now. So let's go ahead and navigate through some of these pages. Now the best way to do that is I'm going to click over here and open up this tab and it shows my entire document in, in little thumbnails here starting with uh, page one. So if I click on this this first box it will take me back to the first page and um, I'm not seeing anything right now because it's, it's, uh, as indicated by this red box I'm seeing the bottom of that first page. So I'll just go over here and I'll just scroll back up and, and you can see how that um, red box uh, shows you what we're looking at. Now this was the problem that I was running into in Microsoft Word. Um, I didn't want page numbers on every page of my book, you know, especially like this first page, uh, which is the title page. And then even if we go to the second page, I, I didn't want numbers on this page either, just the copyright page. Uh, you know, maybe, you know, this page could have used some page numbers on it, but uh, you know, I, I really wanted the page numbers to start where the first chapter started. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing we need to do is to find the page where you want the page numbers to start on. Now I'll go through these thumbnails and I know it's a little bit further down in my document. This is still kind of just an intro to the book. It's not really the, the beginning of the book yet. There's still a few things here and I think it starts Let's see, there's the table of contents. Um, okay, so there's chapter one. So if you look down here, chapter one starts on page nine of the PDF document. So we're going to have to remember that. Now I'm going to scroll down through these thumbnails and find the last page where I want my page numbers to show up. And let's look at the very last page. This is the glossary section and I guess I can add page numbers to this page as well. Sometimes I've had books where I don't want the page numbers to appear at the very end. Um, sometimes I have some promotional pages that only have images on it so so I don't have page numbers on those on those books. But on this one I think I'll just have the page numbers appear all the way to the last page of this document. And we'll take another note here um, this is page 55 of the PDF document. So remember that 55 and then the first page was I think page 9. Yeah, so page 9. So we'll go ahead and tell Adobe Acrobat that those are the page numbers that we want page numbers displayed on. To do that we need to go up to the menu, click on document, and then header and footer, and we're going to add a header and footer to this document. Okay, so this window pops up and um, you'll see right here the preview page one. This is what's showing in this first box here. This is the first page and this is the this is the header section of page one and this is the footer section of page one. 
From here, we need to click on this text here that's called Page Range Options. When this window pops up, you'll see that the All Pages option is lit up. Um, we don't want that because if you choose that option, you'll have page numbers on every page of your document. So instead, let's click on this button here, Pages From, and we'll start here and put that first page number where we want the numbers to show up on, which is page 9. And then the last page is 55. Uh, that's there by default, so I don't have to change that. But if you didn't want page number to go all the way to the end of your book, you could just enter a different number here, like say if your um, main content only went to page uh, 49, you would just enter that and then hit OK. But uh, I want my numbers to go all the way to the end of the book, so I'm going to leave that at 55. You don't really have to do anything with this drop-down menu unless you want your numbers only on even pages or odd pages. I'm just going to keep it on all pages in, in, this, in this page range. So once you've got your page numbers entered here, just hit OK. At this point, I need to show you some of the other sections of this window. Um, these three boxes up here at the top, they are for the header section, which is at the top of your page. And these bottom three boxes are for the footer section. This is where your numbers are going to go or other types of information. Right now, you could just click this button called Insert Page Number and watch what happens. So right now, it's put page numbers up here on the top left side of the header. Um, that's not where we want it. I'll show, I'll, let me show you uh, what, what's happening here. So I'm going to hit OK. And now, look, when we scroll up here, you see this page number 9 is showing up here at the top left corner. Of, of this page. That's not what I want, but you may want your page number to appear there. I don't know, but uh, you know we can change that. Um, so let's just go back. Uh, and to change that, we just go back here to Document, Header, Footer, and then click on Update, and it'll bring us back to this, this window. So for now, let's just delete this. So I want my numbers to appear on the bottom center of my page. So we're going to go down here to this footer section, and I'm just going to click my cursor into this center footer text box. And now I'm going to hit the insert page number button. And you'll see that appear in the middle box. So let's hit OK now. OK, and now let's scroll to the bottom of this page. And now you'll see the page number at the bottom of page 9. Now let's go to the next page and let's see if these show up on the next page. So, yep, so there, page 10, page 11, and let's go to the end of the document and see if the page numbers are there. Yep, so there, there's page 55 and we can see that we're on page 55 here in the thumbnail. So let's, let's just jump back up to the beginning of the book. Let's see if the page numbers are at the beginning. So here's my title page. Let's just scroll down to the bottom. See there's no page numbers here. The copyright page, no page numbers here. So you can see that the page numbers are not showing up on the pages that I didn't want them on until we hit page 9. So I'm just going to click the page 9 through here. And that's chapter 1. And there's my first page number. So right now, um, everything looks good, but I do have one more problem. This PDF file was created from my Word document that I used in my Kindle book. And my Kindle book didn't have any page numbers. And also in my table of contents, I had no page numbers because you really don't want any page numbers in, in your Kindle book. But in a print book, now that we have actual physical pages with page numbers, um, we may want to add page numbers to the table of contents, and I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean here. Let me find the table of contents page. I think it's here. Uh, yeah, there it is. OK, so um, notice I don't have any page numbers after, say, like this is, this is one of the headings. This is, this is intro or chapter one. So people can't just look at your table of contents and uh, say, oh, pay, uh, chapter one is on page uh, 23 or something like that. But we can go ahead and fix that right here in Adobe Acrobat. It's not as easy as just clicking in here like, like in a Word document and just typing because that won't work because if you start typing now, nothing's going to happen. 
what you need to do is go up here to Tools, Advanced Editing, and then select the Touch Up Text tool. That's the only tool that will allow you to add text to this document. So we'll click that, and now we can go in here and say, let's say the intro, we want to tell people what page number the intro is on. So I'm going to actually have to go find that. Um, so here, okay, so intro is on page three. Now it didn't print a page number at the bottom of this intro page, as you'll see, but I'm probably just going to go ahead and add the page number to my table of contents anyways, just so that everything looks consistent. So let's go back to the table of contents and uh, the intro. So right now I know it's page three. So I'm just going to type three right there. Now let's find out where um, chapter one is. Chapter one starts on page nine. So let's go back to table of contents. And there's nine. Let's find chapter two. Chapter two is on page 17. Go type that in there. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and uh, finish up those two sections. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. Um, it was just taking me too long to find where the page numbers were, but Anyways, um, so now you can see all the finished page numbers that I've added to this document. One thing you need to know is that this editing tool is really basic. Like you can't change, you, you, you really can't um, customize it at all. Like you can't um, change the font size or you can't make it bold, you know, or change the font. So it's really basic in here what you can do with that text editing tool. If I really wanted to customize the numbers or do anything special with them, I think the best thing to do now that we know the page numbers is to go back to the original Word document and type them in there uh, in, the, in the table of contents and then resave it as a PDF and then come back to Acrobat and then redo the whole process of adding the page numbers at the bottom of the page. And now the last thing you need to do is resave this document. So um, you could save over your original PDF, but what I always do is I will go and hit save as and just um, add a number two just just so I have the original still intact and then I just have this second version to work with so just hit save and and now it's done